This video is pretty much for the king of the hill types, guys who own a boat looking maybe to get a new audio system or video system or integrate the best of both worlds. This is my recommendation to all you types of guys. Um, I don't know if you follow me or not, but I happen to be a pretty big boat guy. I'm an avid boater. I also really enjoy the finer toys in life, like this here. What I'm showing you is a Clarion. It's a CMV1. Pretty, ain't it? This, unlike every other marine stereo ever made, pretty much, has a video playback screen. I mean, it's nothing huge or crazy looking or anything like that, but it does a lot. Say, for instance, if you had this and you had an external video system, say, downstairs of your boat and upstairs you had your receiver, you would be a prime candidate for this because you can incorporate your video or your flat screen into the inputs of this unit and also reverse and use this as a master control and feed it on the output side to these screens. So pretty good. This thing also you can expand and get a Bluetooth kit. You can add unlimited remotes. Like I got a couple here. This one here is the MW1 model. It's the LCD remote. Nice and big. Big soft rubber buttons. Two line of text. LCD screen. And next to it is the MW2, which is the, just a non-LCD version, but no less good. I think I'm out of a focus a little. So what I've done here is I actually have all these wires. There is a reason why. Not because I'm a slob, but because what I did is in the back, this is the plug that you use to connect an optional marine remote to it okay so I use this cable here which is their 21 foot it's called an MW RXC RET which you know it's just a extension cable and this one here which is a Y cable which allows you to take the one split it off into two so like I was trying to explain to you before you could say you could put this one here your nicer LCD one you know where you sit at and hang out on the boat right and it acts just like your radio because it's got the LCD just the same. And you can get yourself one of these, you know, bare minimum types. Stick that in the other spot. And both of these will control simultaneously. Like right there, I'm going to turn up the volume. Turn it down. You got a source, play, pause, band, turn it tracks. This one here, same kind of deal. Except it's got a menu button. And it also has an enter button, and it shows you the readout, which is pretty good. And on top of that, they give you one of these wireless remotes, which is full function. For the CMV1, the only thing that's a little disappointing is that to use all the functions of the DVD playback, I find that you do need to use that. They're supposed to make this part called an MF1 remote control, which you can supposedly mount on your transom, and it works through infrared, and it's really supposed to be the greatest thing, but apparently... Maybe they had some trouble at the factory or something happened. Maybe the ching went chang or something. But until that comes out, there ain't nothing to show you. This here is the plug that makes it all happen. This is just full of stuff, man. Look at all this stuff. There's six channels of audio output. So if you got a couple amps on the boat, my kind of guy. Um, you got front, rear, and your sub. You got an iPod audio and video input. You got a camera input. You could use for a camera. I mean, if you're blessed enough to have something like that in your boat, I mean, gee, better than me. Um, external auxiliary inputs for channel one and two. So there's two auxiliaries on this receiver. Say here, um, gee, where do we start? I'll give you a quick explanation of what's going on here. You got the power audio display option, the adjust button, nice. Volume button. It's very easy on the finger. It's very, it's almost impossible to slide off of these buttons. They're just really, very nice. They have a nice little illumination around them. They really look nice at night. They did a nice job of hiding the screws. So when you mount it, check this out. These little things come out, and they give you the nice stainless steel hardware. So when you fix it in there, 
close it up. Nice, right? Uh, up on the top right, you got some more stuff. The play, pause button, menu, return, which is good. So no matter where you're at, just hit that and you go back to where you were. Enter button. There's your track left and right. And up on the top, you got some more stuff. That's your main sources for disk, auxiliary for 1 and 2, plus your iPod, which I have and I'll show you in a moment. That's to open up the face. If you're one the way you put the disc, that's how you do it. Your AM FM tuner and your satellite. Now, if you're going to get satellite radio, all you need for Clarion Marine is this SCC1. You don't need to buy the CLA SC1 adapter hub. That's only for car stuff. So, the CMB1, save your money, you don't need it. So, we got the radio. I'll show you real quick. How the faceplate works comes real down real nice. Everything you can see is all watertight. Everything. Maybe a nice little seal here, another seal here. All the buttons are sealed. Everything is rubberized. Everything in this this unit is very high quality. Even the wiring, I have to say, is pure copper. It shines like gold. I mean, they didn't chink out when they made this receiver. They did it right. So my recommendations, and I'm usually pretty tough on these things. Uh, the Clarion Marine, it's in my own boat, so that should say enough to you, but the CMB1, like I'm showing you here, they also have, oh, what do they have? They have the M309, which is their single DIN stereo, so if you don't need all this fancy stuff, uh, without the video, basically, that receiver is going to do just about all the same functions that this one would do, it works the same, expandable just the same as well, and then they have their basic model, the M109, which I probably won't even review because it ain't really worth my time. It ain't my style. But if you're looking for an entry level, you know, deal, you know, take a look at the M109. Just for your reference, I also brought this here. This is last year's model. This is the older LCD remote. You can see how it fares to the newer one. Looks very much the same. Dimensions the same. Hole cutout size the same. So if you were removing your old system and upgrading to a new one. Shouldn't be too much of a pain in the ass. Just basically remove it. Change out your, your wires and stick it back in there. Done. The only thing is with these, a lot of guys get jammed up on this. This plug is different than the plug on the new remotes. So if you're thinking that you can go backwards compatible with the older systems to the new stuff, think again. It's called rewire, sucker. That's not going to happen. So, let's just take a couple look at some of these features on this unit. That's a little video I'm playing there. I don't usually watch kids' videos, but it's what I have. I'm sorry. So, let's throw on the satellite. It'll probably just say antenna error. Or that. Well, oh, okay, whatever. There's your tuner. The disc was the DVD. USB is going to be the iPod. Let's take a close look at this here. Pretty good. Scrolling text, three lines. Everything on the screen is laid out very well, I must say, too. Very easy to read. Very friendly for someone like me, or if you're an old dude. You'll like these big buttons. I know old people, they like that stuff. They love big buttons, boy. So that's pretty much it, man. You got the CMB1. I went over the Sirius add-on, the SCC1. It's all you need to buy, folks. Don't waste your money on the other piece. Those two remotes... That MW1 is a good seller, by the way. That thing is... I, I gotta tell you, I own that. I can recommend nothing better than that unit. I love it. If I had a bigger boat, I'd probably invest in getting myself one of them MW2s too, just for the hell of it. Just, you know what, I might get one just... If I'm bored. If you catch me bored, you might see me around somewhere caught in a hole for that thing. You got one of those RCAs. Oh, I also got this. I forgot about it. This piece here is actually worth mentioning. This is called the CCA USB. Take a look at this. 
when, instead of plugging your USB and running your iPod cable, which actually I have a tip for you on that as well, but if you're going to get this piece right here to extend your USB, they got this nice little thing, you cut it out and you can flush mount a weatherproof USB plug right in your helmet, your dash, or wherever you're going to put it at. Gives you, I don't know what this is, maybe that's like, how long is this dang thing? It don't tell you. Well, I'm going to guess it's around 6 feet. That's my guess. So, might be a ni nice thing for you to get. And back here you got all kinds of other stuff. More RCA cables, inputs and outputs. You have primary 16 pin speaker, power lead harness, USB. This plug here is for the satellite radio. It's got a telephone mute so you can span on a Bluetooth. It's also got a Reverse lead input, plug for your external remotes, antenna input, very nice. And look at the side, You can cut, if you had a single DIN receiver you could just cut that out and put that in. A lot of people think they can't get this because of the size of the front, but it's deceiving what you see in the front and what it really is when you mount it, that's all it is. It's a standard DIN deal. Now getting back to that iPod trick that I was going to tell you about. Let me see if I can find a darn thing. This is the cable that I'm using. These are these are all they, they the same cable is used for so many different parts. All it is is a proprietary iPod cable here. I'm not gonna try to unplug it and break my phone. And on the other end. It's got three RCAs for audio and video because this unit will play back video as well. And the other connection is there, the USB. You don't have to buy the Clarion cable, which costs like $35, $45, something like that. We sell these cables. You can get them for like $17. Bucks. Don't be fooled. They work just the same. I use one. I can attest personally that these things work very well. You know, I'll probably blast the link to let you know where you can get one of these. Save yourself some money because you're going to spend some good ducats buying this receiver here. If you buy all these other little toys and gadgets I'm telling you about, you could spend a good chunk of change here. So every dollar does count. So that's what I suggest for 2012. If you're a marine guy, get one of these. They're awesome.